What's poppin' y'all? It's your boy Reggie Beats, the IT producer. Welcome back to my channel. And today, we're gonna be debunking on how Lift Me Up by Tiger was made. Let's get it. Gonna be using FL Studio on this one. Shout out to the FL gang. If you're a FL gang, hit the sub button. If you're a FL gang, hit the like button. If you're a FL gang, comment in the comment section below and see I'm a FL gang. Let's get it. I'm snowman, like cheesy. I play easy, like I'm little wheezy. I go crazy, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I was getting lost in the beat, man. Let's get it. Okay, so we're gonna be using a first studio. The first sound that we're gonna start with is the whistle. And for the whistle, I actually just cut the one from the real beat at the start because I've tried a lot of different plugins and I actually found one which is called Contact and the library was really whistle but it was just a demo so now i can't really play it again so at least we have that wave that we can just play that and i will still show you the midi keys for it so let's play that and hear how it sounds Uh, that's how the whistle sounds you know it's your c sharp g sharp f sharp e d sharp Okay, now let's get to the bass line. So for the bass line, I use the bass line from a Lex Luger drum kit. So I'll put a link to this project below. So don't worry about this drum kit that I've used. You're gonna get them in that project. So here's how the bass line sounds by itself. Let me play it alone first. Okay, here's how it sounds with the whistle. Okay, cool. The next thing we're gonna add now is the pad, which is that that ambient sound here in the background. And the pad that I've, I mean, the sound that I've used for that was Track God. And the preset is called Further Away. Just play it alone by itself first. Okay, all right, let me play with the rest now. It's just the whistle and the pad and the bass line. Hey, let's get it closer. Okay, cool. Since now it's getting closer, now we're gonna put in the hi hat because we've put in all the melody. Now let's just put in the hi hat. And the hi hat that I've used is uh. Hi hat lost one. It's also in the Lex Luga drum kit, but it's gonna be in the link in the description. And it's just plain simple. And here's how it sounds with the rest. Okay. Okay, cool you can hear now it's getting closer and closer and there was also like a bell sound it was like very faint in the background so let's just add that on which is the sound that i use for that is a cowbell sound and here's how it looks like here's how it sounds by itself actually put in some uh eq on it to cut out the highs and I, and I put a bit of reverb because of how it was sounding on the original beat hey. oh you can even make a new beat with this it's crazy I must start a beatboxing challenge okay let's hear how that sounds with all together Okay, cool and then now we're gonna add the clap it's like a clap tap of a snap you know what i'm saying so the one that i've used is this one let me just scroll all the way up to it i've used this 808 mafia snap plus this w a s h clap i combine them together so you can be able to get that exact sound and i also as you can see The 
that's how it sounds all together now let's put in the kick right here's the kick and i'm gonna play it by myself quickly all right now i'm gonna play with everything I I think that's it. Let me play it from the start so you can hear how it sounds like. Alright, that's it from me. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the sub button, and hit the link in the description to download this project. Let's get it. If you want to learn how to make beat selling websites, I got some links up here. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get this back. Reggie Beats, I'm out.